Hello everybody, how's everybody doing today? I hope you're all doing well. Today, we actually have a post review to do. Because I have finished Frozen by Chris Ortega from Diamond Art Club. Um, I'm not showing you the image yet. We're going to get there. I completed this kit as a gift for my brother for Christmas. I started it on November 1st and I finished it on December 18th. I wound up having to take like three weeks off of working on it because I got really sick. And so that's why it took me so long. It is a 20 by 30 inch or a 50 by 75 centimeters. This particular kit I actually got back in 2001. So this does not have the updated drills and stuff that Diamond Art Club has been rolling out. And um, let's go ahead and look at this beauty now. Wow. I am so happy with the outcome. Um, I was a little worried about like her eyes. I didn't know how I was going to like how that came out, but I really like how when you view it from a distance, it looks pretty good. If you're up close to it, it, it looks a little weird, but that's kind of typical with um, diamond art. So it's just something I have to keep in mind. Uh, I did like the little pins in her hair that they did. They, um... Did, I think they did a fantastic job of rendering it overall. Some of the colors seem a little bit bolder than they are in the original artwork. Like the blue is much brighter. In the original artwork it was a more gray blue and much lighter than it is in this picture. Um, they put ABs all through the white of the snow which I really liked and they put it down the trunk of the tree. Um, there's a little bit in the hilt of the sword, there's some on the front of her shirt, there's some all the way through this part of her outfit. Um, I loved the use of the reds and the pinks in her, her clothes, I thought they did really good. The one thing that really kind of threw me off when I was working on it is this hand back here. It just looks really weird. And I don't know if it'll ever not look weird to me, but it just looks very weird to me. Um, overall, I think the picture has is very good quality. The canvas is very soft and easy to manipulate and use. It's very shiny, even for the age of the drills. I did run into issues where some of the drills were different sizes. Um, they don't fit together as nicely as their newer canvases do, so there is some gapping. So if you are working on an older kit, just be aware that you're going to have some oddly fitting drills, you're going to have gapping, but just work through and adjust and move things as you're getting through sections and, that, and help make it look more pleasing to your eye as you go. And uh, eventually it'll all come together. It'll be okay if it's not perfectly straight. It happens. But I really liked working on the kit. I did run out of the white AB. Um, I got all the way up through this section of her. Got all this up here done. And then right here I ran out of AB. <laughs> so I didn't have any ABs to do this section here. And then I had some sections down here that I didn't have any ABs so thankfully I had um, ABs in my leftover drills, so I was able to go ahead and wrap this up and I will be able to ship this out to my brother for Christmas, and I am hoping that he really likes it. Uh, I think he will, but overall this is a good kit. I definitely give it a... Uh, I give it an 8 out of 10. There, to me there's just a few like color variances and, and some weird looks like with the hand the hand down here I think is really weird I feel like that could have been charted a little differently than not to not be so odd um but overall I, I love the picture and I I'm glad that I worked on it I actually did buy a um second one for me because I wanted one in my collection 
So I actually have one of the newer kits. Well, I say newer. I bought it this year. I don't know if it's one of the newer kits or not, but I bought it this year. And uh, eventually I will work on that. I doubt I'll do a post review. I might. I might not. But uh, overall, good quality. Very happy with it. Uh, the rendering, for the most part, is fantastic. Just a few little weird things that is hard to translate into pixel art, basically, which is what diamond painting is. Um, I like the fact that it's not so shiny that it um, wipes out the picture, which I feel a lot in a lot of new diamond art clubs, their drills are doing. They're getting so shiny to the point where um, you can't see the picture, even in non-direct sunlight. And I think that's a problem. But this picture came out fantastically. Well, everybody, for me, that is my post review. I have no other issues. Had plenty of colors. The only thing I ran out of was the white ABs. Thankfully, I had some in my um, leftovers that I will be able to, that I was able to just replace them. And overall, I'm happy with it. So, I recommend it. Uh, thank you everybody for hanging out. I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye everybody.